administrative staff members of a North Charleston charter school say they were told at the end of May that the school didn't have enough money left to pay them. The Charter Institute at Erskine found that the Gates School, which primarily serves students with dyslexia, was shut down after a history of violations and noncompliance. Four administrative staff members, including the former principal, director of operations, receptionist, and director of student services, they all say they were left without three months of pay. Now those staff members and some teachers are coming together to fight for that money. According to the employees' contracts, they were supposed to be paid through next month, and any loss of funding would mean furlough, salary reductions, or termination. Now, Eskine has released a statement that reads in part, quote, The Gates board members made sure to take care of their financial needs while others continue to be left empty-handed. Accordingly, it remains the sole responsibility of the board to use the remaining funds it has to pay its outstanding standing obligations, including to the administrators they employ. Now, Gates School Board member Jane Walsh also released the following statement saying, the board stands by the fact that all Gates staff deserve to be paid for the work they have done. Without release of state funding, the control was removed from Gates and the decisions were made by the Charter Institute at Erskine.